Hello, uh, first video in a long time. I found a broken Winchy hub at the trash of a local bike mechanics. Um, there seems to be some special key to open it up, but since the threading out here is uh, bent or something, Anyway, so I, I don't think that even with the tool that it would have been possible to open it that way. And since the flange is broken on two sides actually, uh, there is no way to repair it anyway or none of which I can think. So yeah, what I did, I, I drilled a hole and another one to drain uh, as much of the oil as I could. It's about what was in there and uh, then I yeah, I took my saw and uh, cut it open around it. Yeah, and this is how it looks. There's a nice two-way bearing in that cup. And yeah, and it starts to get funky, I guess. A little trim. And there is a a bearing obviously there is a bearing raised container with the balls some springy shims actually I think that there was a seal on that bearing at least there is something it looks like part of a seal. Uh -huh. It's getting difficult. I'm doing this one-handed, so... Ah, I can remove like the whole thing. Okay, so there is another... The other side of that bearing, which has some... Like the DT Swiss ratchet in much bigger. And then there is roller bearings and some kind of a spring. There's also a little plastic, which looks like the one in the seal. Oh well. Now we have something like a planetary gearbox, but uh, what is it? The planets. They, they don't turn around and they don't have teeth all around it. Very interesting. Um, still the ah, oh, there is a retainer clip. Okay, let me get rid of that clip somehow. Sorry, I said I do this one handed. So. that I can... Ah, yeah, it just lifts off. Interesting. So there is a pre-wheel in here. And... Yeah, this will kind of drive the whole... That, that whole assembly. Okay. Yeah, then there we have that strange looking not really planetary gearbox there seem to be crushed springs down there mm -hmm. 
Oh wow, okay. Uh, these come right off. Oh yeah, that, that doesn't look right. Uh, and these have like, uh, like a can, I guess. My hands getting dirty and so does the phone that I'm holding. One more bearing. And uh, yeah, this thing is holding tight. I'd love to lift this one, but this is somehow stuck. One second now, I'll need both hands. Okay, there was another one of these uh, clips that we have had up here as well. Uh, and it opens. So, and here it comes. Oh, okay. This is like an alloy casting. And then uh, now getting more interesting. Oh well, okay, there is this second ring. And look at these fancy balls. And <laughs> okay. As soon as you pull out like, these parts, the ball, ah, oh, the ball has a hole, okay. And there's like a pin. This is pushed onto the shaft, so I'll I'll turn the whole thing over and and see if it, if I can remove it from from the the shell. Okay, so a while later <laughs> I cut off the whole uh, disc mount because I didn't have a socket that will fit in down here without uh, having a collision with the axle so let's see if that works the it does okay nice little Nice little knot. Oh, and, and yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, that wasn't planned. But yeah, we have another bearing, which feels kind of rough. Oh, then we have. These metal things, they look like magnets, but they, they, they aren't. Okay. Another ring with these uh, poles, uh, not poles, I, I don't know how, how it's called. So more of these cylinder thingies.
some plastic parts that we've seen before. Ah, and the ring can be removed. Okay, so now I'm going to turn that over again, I guess. Okay, so the first uh, steel ball came loose. It's actually rather heavy and I will put it on a scale in a minute. Uh, so, okay, so these come out as soon as uh, the pin is out. These are quite nice. I'll keep them. There's also like a, a needle bearing which was inside of the ball. Oh, here it's still in there. Oh, okay, so the plastic, these plastic things, which, yeah, they, they are not up to the task. Uh, some of them were broken. This looks like it's deformed and, and maybe it even has, yeah, it, it is it's not intact anymore. Um, so I guess that, that is a weak point of the Novinci transmission, um, quite obviously. Yeah, this one as well. Uh, there is another. There's another one of these in the same trash bin, but I don't know <laughs> if it's worth the hassle to <laughs> to do the same. It will most likely look the same inside. Um, okay, so there is a rather special bearing combination in here. Uh, I don't know if I if I'm actually able to get in there because. This looks on this side. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's pressed on beyond what I can pull off. But let let me try. So okay, uh, my puller was too small, but uh, my hammer was big enough, I guess. Uh, even scratched the vise, which kind of sucks. So, um, yeah, okay, so here we have the shaft, which is some teeth that go into this casting, so this is held in place and it won't move while the wheel is spinning, still don't know how to get this one out here, and I'd love to see that bearing. Uh, I'll need both hands again. So, uh, boot force was my friend again. So, here we have that bearing. Uh, now Ah, now I, I guess I see it. On that bearing, the balls are, are, are like running on it. Not that I understand why it has to be designed like this, but it's quite obvious that it was like that. Okay, so yeah, I, I guess it's now time to watch some explanation video on, on how the whole thing works. I, I, I know the principle, but Actually, looks looks uh, rather complicated. Uh, very well made ap apart uh, these plastic thingies, which yeah, they are like all of them are are broken. Uh, I don't know if that flange really came off um, while riding. I don't really think so i i especially the other one the other new Vinci that is in the same trash looks the same so what i suspect is that these were warranty replace replaced and and uh, the the 
the dealership had to somehow make them unusable and just threw them to the bottom until they, they broke off or something like that. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. I hope it was interesting. For me it sure was. And uh, I'll have to clean up now. Bye.